Hi there, this is just a really brief video to talk about Linux installation on the Xiaomi Mi Book Air 13.3 edition with the dedicated NVIDIA 940MX. Um, the reason I'm doing this is there's some brilliant reviews of the system itself running Windows on the internet from top YouTubers, so basically I'm not going to go into that. But the only review I managed to find of Linux anywhere on YouTube uh, was in, is in German. Um, so what I wanted to do, there is a, another one um, talking about Linux Mint and uh, Remix OS as well. But again, he had the, the, the brilliant YouTuber, I, I, it was one of my decisions to buy this was because of him. I didn't really go further than that um, and was having some issues. Um, so what I wanted to say was a few things about this system. So I've got a dual boot with Windows 10 and, and Ubuntu on here. Um, fully functional. Now the first thing I was going to say about briefly is, is the issue I had with the Wi-Fi in both uh, Ubuntu and in CentOS. Um, I've now got it fully working in Ubuntu. Um, I haven't retried it in CentOS because I've finally got an installation uh, that I'm happy with. Um, so basically, uh, after trying reinstalling Intel drivers, everything, I was having massive, massive issues with the 820, 8260 card in this machine. Um, and I just couldn't get it to work. Um, or if I ever did get it to work, I'd have to click on the Wi-Fi like 50 times and eventually it would just randomly enable. Um, but then trying all different advice, uh, someone with a 7260 guide on the Ubuntu forums was having the same issue. And it turns out you have to disable in Ubuntu, certainly you have to disable the Acer Wi-Fi driver. I'll leave a guide to that in the YouTube video or link to, to, the, to the thread. Um, and since then, it's been absolutely spotless. Uh, another issue I had with CentOS is that I could not get uh, Optimus drivers to work. Uh, even using Bumblebee, I tried everything. Um, it just kept bricking the system. Um, so that's the reason I've ended up with Ubuntu. I really would have preferred to run CentOS. Uh, but part of the reasons I needed Linux was to do some energy consumption testing on GPU and CPU. Uh, which, if I can't get that to work in CentOS, it is no help to me. However, if you are looking to use a system um, in CentOS and you're not bothered about using the GPU, it does show in the 3D sections, but not as a VGA card, um, then this system is excellent for that as well. I had it fully running, it lasts a long while, perfect Linux system. Um, so the only last thing I wanted to say in this video, because I know this is important, hence the reason I've ended up with with uh, running Ubuntu on it, is it, when you in install Ubuntu, as soon as you enable the proprietary drivers in the system, it works absolutely perfectly, um, the NVIDIA card. So basically, if you go into the NVIDIA system here, you'll see um, all you have to do is enable the driver in, in the additional drivers, and you've got Intel and NVIDIA. Now, the moment I'm running on the Intel system, because as you can see, this is on full brightness, it's saying 5 hours 17 and I've been running it for a little while and that's fairly accurate. Um, all of the uh, function keys work fine, the volume, uh, the brightness, as I say, absolutely perfect. The only slight issue with this is it doesn't have automatic switching. So if you do want to use a dedicated GPU, all you need to do is to, uh, tick this and then it will ask you to log out and log back in and then you'll be using that. Um, but yeah, that's the end of this video basically, just because I know that I was searching for Linux installs on the Xiaomi Mi Book Air 13.3 model, and all I can say is I thoroughly recommend it because it's running absolutely beautifully and in dual boot mode as well. Um, so if you've got any work to do in Linux, if you either want to use a Red Hat based, no issue, but you you might be better at this than me, but I really was struggling to get the, uh, the graphics switching to work. Um, but if you want to use a Ubuntu based system, then as I say, once you disable that Acer Wi Fi driver, you've got an absolutely faultless system here. Um, so forgive me for the unprofessional nature of this video, but that's not what it's about. This video is to help people like me who are looking for a really good small form factor Linux computer with a dedicated graphics card that's, you know, £600 at the moment if you get it from the Hong Kong store. Okay, thank you, and hopefully this has helped even one person, then it's enough.